What's up everybody, it's Mr. Gap here, and today we are going to be talking about the phases of the moon and the lunar cycle. The phases of the moon. The moon phases. The phase of the moon of the phase. Fuzz. Fuzz. Fuzzy moon. It's just the phases of the moon. We're just going to be talking about the phases of the moon. Here we go! So the moon is the largest and most visible object in our nighttime sky. The moon is also visible during the day sometimes, but if you noticed, when you look up at the moon, it doesn't always look the same. The moon changes. That's because the moon goes through what's called a lunar cycle. Depending on when you look up at the moon, you can see a different amount of it. Sometimes you can see all the moon, which is what we call a full moon. Sometimes you can see half, sometimes you can see way less. So the amount of the moon that you can actually see, or the part that's lit, is determined by the lunar cycle. Now it takes the moon about 27 days to actually complete one full orbit around the Earth, but a lunar cycle lasts for about 30 or 29 and a half days. Does that number sound familiar? It should, because 30 is about the length of a month. So our calendar was roughly designed around the lunar cycle. Thanks, moon! Appreciate it. What happened in February though, bro? So in this video, we're gonna look at the lunar cycle. We're gonna explain where it starts, where it ends, and all the phases in between. Moon is a moon is a moon cycle in the I'm bad even at air guitar. Before we get into the actual cycle, there's a couple vocabulary words I want to go over with you guys. Now when we're describing how much of the moon is visible, how much we see, how much is lit, we use two different vocabulary words. If the moon is less than half visible, that means we can see less than half the moon, we call it a crescent moon, not a croissant moon, that would be too delicious. So if the moon is less than half visible or less than half lit, we call it a crescent moon. If you can see more than half the moon or more than half the moon is lit, visible, then we call it a gibbous moon. Gibbous. It's a fun word to say. Gibbous. Gibbous. Gibbous, 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 gibbous. Oh my gibbous in a trivis. Doesn't make sense because a trivis isn't a thing. So if the moon is more than half visible, we call it a gibbous moon. Now the moon is actually dark. It doesn't really give off any of its own light. Sorry, man. Sunlight is actually just reflecting off the moon's surface down to our planet. Thanks for another thing, son. You're just a hard worker. You're a hard worker, son. Another fun fact about the moon is that we actually only see one side of the moon. There is what is called a dark side of the moon, which is not visible to us. People used to think there are alien bases and whatever over there, secret laboratories. But they sent a satellite over and it turns out it's just, it's just craters and stuff. There's nothing cool. The next two vocabulary words we're going to talk about deal with whether the moon is becoming more or less visible day by day. If the moon is becoming more and more visible, we say it's waxing. Wax on. You're waxing on the light. Waxing. The moon is becoming more visible each day, therefore it is waxing. If the moon is becoming less visible each day, we say it is waning. Waning goodbye. Waning is just a good vocabulary word. All right, so those are our four vocabulary words that we need to know before we get going. Crescent means that the moon is less than half visible. Gibbous means it's more than half visible. Waxing means it's becoming more visible by the day. And waning... Waning means that it's becoming less visible by the day. So let's start at the beginning of the lunar cycle, or what we call a new moon. Now, I don't really like this name, new moon, because you think things that are new and shiny, they're like, wee, you want to play with it, you want to go around, oh, it's a new moon. Look what I got, mom, it's new. But look at this, it's so shiny and new. Now, what's weird about this is a new moon actually isn't visible. You just can't see the thing. At the start of the lunar cycle, or at a new moon, we cannot see the moon at all. Oh, I want to play with my new moon, but I can't, because it's not visible. Yeah. So that's the start of a lunar cycle. It's called a new moon and you can't see it at all. After the new moon, the moon becomes more and more visible each day. We call it a waxing crescent. That's because the moon is becoming more visible or a waxing, but it's still less than half visible. So we call it a crescent. Now it's also important to note that after a new moon, the moon will become more and more visible on its right side. So the light will start from the right and work its way in. About seven days into a lunar cycle, you get what's called a first quarter moon. And this is also a little bit of a weird name because it's actually half visible or a half moon. We call it a first quarter moon because, well, it's one quarter into its lunar cycle. So a first quarter moon is also known as a half moon. It's half visible lit up on the right side. Left side's like, can I get some of that light? After the first quarter moon, the moon turns into a waxing gibbous. The moon is still becoming more and more visible or more and more 
I'm not gonna keep doing it. I'm not gonna keep saying lit. Lit! So, we still say it is waxing, but now, since it is more than half visible, we say it is a gibbous moon. So it is a waxing gibbous. Halfway through the lunar cycle, you have everybody's favorite moon, a full moon! We made it halfway! Yeah! Now everybody knows what a full moon is. It's when the moon is completely visible. It looks amazing up there, all pretty and full and yay. After the full moon is over, the moon starts to become less and less visible. So it is no longer waxing. We now say the moon is waning. Everything before a full moon is waxing. Everything after is waning. After a full moon, the moon becomes a waning gibbous. It is still more than half visible, or a gibbous, but now it is becoming less and less visible as the days goes on. So it's waning. But my fingers, wee! Fingers go like this. Fingers go like that. Fingers in my hat. I'm not wearing a hat. That doesn't work. Darn it! It's a waning gibbous on the best day ever after full moon. I'm just gonna keep doing weird stuff in hopes that it sticks. Deal with it! About a week after the full moon, we have our third quarter moon. Now our third quarter moon is actually our second half moon in the lunar cycle. So if you ever want to quiz somebody and sound really smart, you can say, hey, do you know how many half moons there are in a, in a lunar cycle? And they'll be like, one, duh. And you'll be like, no, two, boom, two of them, there's two of them, give me candy. So we have our third quarter moon. It's actually our second half moon of the cycle. But in this case, the moon is on its way back to a new moon. In the first quarter moon, the right side is visible. In a third quarter moon, the left side is visible. It's like left twix, right twix, who's the best? Who knows, right? After the third quarter moon, the moon becomes a waning crescent. Because now the moon is less than half visible, it is a crescent moon, but it is still losing light by the day. So it's still waning. It's a waning crescent. The moon continues to wane and wane and wane crescently until it again becomes a new moon, or a moon that you can't see. Now this whole process takes, like I said, about a month, or 29 and a half days. So that's it guys, that's really the lunar cycle. So it starts at a new moon, waxes to a full moon, and wanes back into a new moon. Moony, 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 moony. All right guys, that's it. That's all I have on the phases of the moon and the lunar cycle. Have a wonderful, no, I don't even know how to dab. I can't even, like, fake it. I'm, like, so old now. I'm just... Ugh! I'll get there. I'll get there.